This is the tar paper pitcher that we started in the last video and I've allowed this to set up um, under plastic until it gets leather hard. You really have to be careful um, with the tar paper because the clay is going to shrink and um, if the tar paper is stuck down when it's, and you let it get too dry, it can actually cause cracking. While if you take it off at, or just a little bit before leather hard, it can um, act as a tool. So be careful with that. I'm also going to take my sponge before I take my tar paper off because it's supporting it right now. And I'm really just going to cradle that rim, lip, and smooth that as much as possible. Also, on the inside, I'm going to run a bead of a coil. Because this is a pitcher, because it is a little bit larger form, I'm going to run a little coil on the inside um, seam just to make sure that is completely connected. So I'm just running that in there. It's a little bit like building a ship inside of a bottle, but it works pretty well. And then I'm going to come back in with my damp sponge, not wet, and just make sure that's really smoothed out and connected. All right, now I'm going to take the tarred paper off. And you can see that this is really um, strong and that most of my texture has stayed. The place where I've lost some of the texture is right around here. So what I could do is I could divide up that space with a simple line on both sides and I could actually smooth it so that the, the spout is actually just a, a smooth area and maybe I will um, carve into this a little bit deeper but I'm just marking it off temporarily so I know where that stops and starts. Back here where my seam is connected, it's connected pretty well and I could either smooth that all in or I can maintain that seam kind of like on clothing. All right, so that seems pretty well connected. Now if I wanted to um, change the shape of this right here, I could create a dart um, and um, a dart, remember, is just where you will cut out kind of an oval-like shape and squeeze it together to change that shape. I kind of like this shape, however. Um, I don't know that I really want to do that. Um, but if I wanted to, I could like mark off a oval shape, cut it out, squeeze it together, and I would have a different kind of shape for my handle. Now for the handle, this is a bigger pot with a bigger handle. Oh, I forgot to check on the bottom. The bottom looks pretty good. Just want to make sure that edge is completely connected and that maybe I take my paddle to it one time. And you can see that I can really handle this clay now. It seems really strong. I've kind of tapped it in on the inside so that it, um, so that it doesn't rock or become unstable. Now I'm going to add a, a handle on. And for this handle, I think I will use some texture, the same texture as I applied on the pot itself. And I'm going to start by rolling a coil in my hands, or if you feel more comfortable, you can hold your hands at an angle on the table, like this. This shouldn't be too thin. It shouldn't be too narrow. You really want to think about the shape of the pot you're attaching it to. All right, making sure this is straight before I do that. All right, now I'm going to flatten this, but not completely flat. Thicker where I'm going to be attaching it, thinner down at the end. And I'm going to make sure the edges are nice and even if I can, just using my rib and smoothing that out. And then I'm going to roll the texture on gently. All right, so that's what that looks like now. And then I'm going to make a bevel where I'm going to be attaching this, kind of cleaning up those edges. And I'm going to add some slip, a little score. Where I'm going to be attaching this 
add that slip on. can attach my handle on and I want to make sure it's lined up with the spout that is a common mistake that I see All right, that looks a little thick to me but keep it just for now so I'm making sure that's lined up I'm making sure that this handle is connected well and I can come back in with a little slip in this divot down here Make sure it's not sharp out here as well up on the top really want to make sure it's well connected I can keep the seam like we talked about before I just don't want to um, I just don't want it to be um, not connected well this is kind of an important part and then you'll never want to pick up your your pitcher by that handle until after it gets bisque fired um, it just I see people do it all the time and it breaks off it's not going to be as strong as this until after it gets bisque fired so please be patient with that all right so I'm making sure that my handle is lined up with the spout making sure this is shaped well and one last thing I can do is I can actually push out from the inside a little bit on each side just using the round side of my rib to give that just a little bit more shape down here if I want to and I do kind of. And that's kind of the great part about working with the slabs. It kind of gives you this um, basic shape, but then you can work into it some more by pushing out or pull, you know, pushing in for the spout. You can shape the spout a little bit more if you want to. Um, there's all these parts to it that you can do. All right, so that is a picture made with tar paper.